My name is uh, Armand Passy, coming uh, from uh, Berlin, as you can see, working in Africa, as you can see as well. So uh, the title of my presentation is uh, uh, GNU Health Implementation in France with Gabon, Connecting Diamonds. I will talk more about people than codes because I'm sure here yeah, you guys uh, uh, you have heard enough of this, but obviously you don't need, you don't usually talk about the most important people yourself. So I'm going to do it on your behalf. So uh, Franceville Gabon, uh, I guess that a lot of people don't even know where it is. Gabon, Libreville, who knows where it is? Somewhere in West Africa, but between uh, Cameroon, south of Cameroon, along the west coast of Africa. And Franceville is a small city there, 80 kilometers, 8 kilometers away from the capital city, Libreville. So, why connecting diamonds? Uh, we'll see. I'll start with a quote from someone you may not know, but who uh, really says something what uh, really uh, resume or uh, summarize uh, what we'll talk about here. There is no greater calling than to serve your fellow men. There is no greater contribution than to help the weak. There is no greater satisfaction than to have done it well. I think this is what you are doing every day. Let me start maybe a, a little bit from my background. I spent uh, uh, most of my life uh, uh, working in a big organization uh, uh, for this uh, big and using this big software coming from big organization. I don't want to name any name here. So I didn't know anything about here open source, free, goat, free, uh, free software, let alone about Triton or New Health. So I, when I left this organization three years ago, I, you ask yourself, what do you do out of your life? What have you achieved first? And what will you do out of your life? So it was really a quest, which landed uh, uh, in this guy's uh, B2CK and uh, in Las Palmas uh, by, with uh, Luis Falcon. So these are, let's say, the two uh, uh, the people who really inducted me there, because uh, I wanted to be convinced. Uh, I read about a little bit about Triton and New Health, but I wanted really uh, convinced, uh, know the people who were behind that, uh, because to me was, that was a key to my action to uh, see if I could uh, go along with these guys. Have, have you ever spent uh, a few weeks with uh, Cedric and Nico? Do it, <laughs> if you have time. <laughs> so, uh, you know the story anyway, how it begins. Uh, I don't need to talk more about it, but let's hear, uh, for me, up to Python you know about it, but for me, as I said, uh, it landed with uh, here, uh, Cedric, Nico, and Triton, and uh, Luis Kyle Falcon with New Help. I'm coming, I have, uh, I'm a software engineer, but I have, a, a, let's say, a medical background. I work in a big uh, uh, medical organization. So, how all these codes and so on landed here to serve really those who you don't even know about? Oh. Of course, doing all that, I will not repeat it here, all of you guys, it requires passion, very high skills, and above all, a lot of hard work. Huh? I was impressed by the amount of work these guys put huh, in their job. I've been working bill organization, earning quite uh, some money, but the way these guys are passionate and the work, I was just really, really impressed. That's all really uh, very, very <coughs> impressive to me. So, and their dreams, their vision landed in a small town in France at the heart of Africa. And of course, it changed the life and the people of this city. I'd like to 
tell a little more about uh, the, the place. It is in Franceville at the CRMF. It is a, in French, Centre International de Recherche Médicale de Franceville. It's an international center for medical research in Franceville. Uh, uh, <coughs> it's a joint uh, organization uh, owned by, uh, by Gabon and, and France, uh, funded by both. So they are doing very high medical research there. And they are also uh, helping, uh, uh, they have a, a lab unit, uh, quite a big lab unit, which is assisting doing the research, of course, but also uh, they're serving the people there, they're serving, in fact, the whole, the whole area. And there are a number of even uh, lab samples that uh, come all over the world to land there. This is where they discover, in fact, the, this uh, AIDS virus uh, that was claimed by the French. They do the research, and then it goes back to France, where uh, it is, they say, validated at, uh, by these researchers. Uh, and uh, uh, the job shows us how a few visionary people can make a difference, how they can contribute shaping a better world for the benefit of all in general and the voices in developing world in particular. So uh, uh, I just want to point that, uh, uh, because to me what's most important not the codes, that's how these guys who, I mean, you don't uh, read about them in the news, in the newspaper, how it lands there. Uh, so it is important that we sometimes uh, uh, credit ourselves, or you credit yourself, and uh, see really uh, how you make the difference. Uh, so, and uh, I'm just go going to here explain why we did implement the project. In fact, uh, uh, just imagine a medical lab operated, it's almost a jungle there. Uh, it's somewhere nowhere in the African forest with a very costly software that did not meet user requirements. Uh, the lab results used to take three to four days to be processed, uh, putting the life of patient at risk. Usually in this area, uh, just a, a few hours difference uh, can make the difference between uh, life and death. Uh, we had lab results that were unreliable. No quality assurance procedures. Uh, a problem with cash management. I mean, uh, the management didn't, didn't never saw the money. Uh, so it's coming in, they couldn't really account for it. That's a usual problem in Africa. Uh, so uh, we had a problem with privacy of data, the security of system. There were no patient records. So. All in all, very and and system that was very much unreliable, uh, with issue with bugs, licenses, <coughs> and so on. So uh, it's where uh, 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 I came. I did some research uh, on the internet, uh, doing which kind of uh, <coughs> uh, software and so on before uh, on the side of management and so on, which could really uh, uh, satisfy the needs, and I landed. A few uh, a year before with no health, and then I went here uh, for induction in uh, with the B2CK and and uh, and Blue Solidario or Timbra with the company. So how did we implement it? Gnu Health uh, 302 Triton 3.8 Open source. We did had uh, 15 users. There are about thousands patients. I couldn't even count them because it's the whole province who are going there because uh, uh, right now they know that it is uh, the most reliable, I think this is even the most reliable uh, lab department in the region, in, in the whole Central Africa, I can say. Uh, uh, we had to, to implement uh, lab management processes and uh, cash management processes as well. Uh, the challenge is uh, we, at the time, we didn't have any French manual, uh, just uh, translated the official uh, new health manual. Uh, at that place, the co internet connection was not quite reliable uh, during installation. Uh, I have sleep last night, just, uh, just to raise an issue, it was uh, in the middle. I had to wait until midnight to start implementing because the whole day I didn't have any internet connection. 
it was my first implementation with Blue Health, so I didn't quite, I wasn't quite aware of these issues. Uh, and then in the middle of the time, I remember, I was tired, sending a query, who is answering? Just guess who? Cedric. Cedric. <laughs> 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 I was telling, and then the next day I told you should, you should sleep sometimes, sometimes. So I was, I was just amazed in the middle of nowhere, getting a, a, a message, a, a message. It was really a war, warm, I mean, heartwarming. I mean, it was, was just, uh, uh, when you are desperate, uh, not talking about even the solution, that someone around somewhere in the world is just answering to your call, I was really, really, uh, really, uh, I, I, cannot, I cannot express that. So uh, a major issue were, were change management issues. You know, when in Africa, you are dealing with money. You face a lot of resistance. All of a sudden, there was a software that could track because they had a lab software, which is buggy and so on, but it didn't really quite track the money the way uh, Triton does it. So all of a sudden, you can really uh, track the whole process from uh, receiving the cash up to the, the getting into the journal reporting. So it was, at the beginning, quite challenging and I faced a lot of resistance from the, the, here, the finance department there. Uh, so there was a number of change management issues. I will not go into details. Uh, and of course the IT culture of stars and the alignment to rigorous Triton GNU health uh, business processes. Uh -huh. This is where the, I mean, the, uh, the highest, the, the most difficult challenges I faced. Not even technical one. <coughs> Strength. Uh, okay, I got an excellent training. Uh, uh, spent three three months with these guys uh, here, B2CK. Uh, I spent uh, so got the tra training in new health so, uh, and the support. As I said, is just uh, excellent. Uh, and of course, KISS methodology in Africa. You need to keep it uh, simple. Uh, I didn't want to customize anything. Do extra. I just told the guy, you guys, you know, uh, uh, these are standard best practices. Let's just uh, fit into that. Let's not fit, let's, let's not the software, the system, fit into our culture. Let's fit into here these best practices. So, uh, 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 because I, I uh, just uh, in quote here again, in parentheses, I, I like to open. Uh, we have installed it since almost two years, almost no bug. It's a robust, uh, reliable. Uh, and I tell uh, so again a story about it uh, later on. So we managed then uh, to, to, to set it up uh, in a record time or almost three weeks because uh, the, the software that they used collapsed. Uh, uh, we negotiated almost three months, they were hesitating, yes, we do it, we don't do it. All of a sudden, I get a call, come quickly, because here we needed something that is, uh, <coughs> uh, can work immediately, Im urgently. So I have to rush there and, and, and do it quickly. So we didn't even have time, really, to really, really, really to go through all, all, the, all the requirements. So uh, what do we, did we, at the end of the whole process, did we achieve? Uh, we saved patient lives. Uh, that's, I think, the most important thing because we speed up the, uh, uh, the uh, treatment uh, of the, the treatment of uh, of the lab results. Uh, as I said, we had more uh, accurate results, and the process we were, that were processed much faster. Uh, when the patient, uh, as I said, it when the patient came in the morning after two or three hours, they could get the result very quickly. Uh, we managed to implement quality assurance procedures, or enforce them at least. We improved the working conditions of the people, uh, because they, it was very, very difficult to enter the, 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 the results, uh, processed uh, here, the finance, on a, another way. Uh, we improved the patient satisfaction, no long queue anymore. Uh, lab results on time and reliable, and more also uh, patients' uh, medical records could be tracked because they didn't have any patient records. So, meaning when you come, uh, you do some uh, testing, 
uh, three months later you come again, you have to re re redo the whole thing again because the whole thing were very, very badly managed. And of course, we reduce, we managed to reduce cost and increase the revenue by five folds. Uh, can you imagine? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. So, and of course, we improve the business process, we streamline them and improve the whole IT uh, culture. What is the next step? Uh, to me, that was just a kind of uh, proof of concept. If uh, I know it works, but was it possible to implement uh, a Triton-based system in Africa? Not only in Africa, but in a remote area, because uh, uh, <coughs> I don't live myself there. Uh, I live uh, eight or ten kilometers away from there in Libreville. So. Uh, I needed uh, something robust like this uh, uh, Russian uh, engine that uh, that I sent to sent to space as a simple, uh, robust, reliable, uh, uh, no complicated processes and so on. Uh, so we because we have uh, 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 there are still a number of challenges. Uh, the health system in this country and in all Central Africa is in crisis. Uh, millions of patients are still out there waiting to be researched in, an in any m electronic medical record system. I know these are some things that are far away from you. Uh, just to tell another story. Uh, a friend of mine just died because he went five times to the same hospital. So five times different doctors who five times redid the whole, the same process again and again. In the meantime, when the last doctor found out what was happening, it was too late. These are the simple things where you can just uh, <laughs> lose your life easily. Uh, on the other side of business management, because I, uh, the good thing with uh, this structure base is that while we are dealing with the uh, issue uh, uh, health issues are also dealing with management issues. In fact, the major challenge here was a managerial issue, yeah, even, not even a health issue. Uh, uh, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of small and medium businesses that are struggling with management issues who can't afford here any uh, ERP. As, uh, I will not. Uh, uh, give any name here, there is uh, one common ERP that is used uh, in most, I think, most uh, countries in Africa, but it's unaffordable, it's too expensive for all. So big companies can afford it, so small companies cannot afford it. The result, they cannot manage the stock, simple issues like stock management, making inventories, uh, having uh, 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 here uh, accounting, uh, data on times, and so on. So, and the question, of course, how can we Triton, Blue Health, make it happen. Uh, just to uh, end here with the vision I had, starting from the beginning. Uh, 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 how can we, uh, our community, uh, because now I'm part of this community, contribute to an emerging social and ec economic development in Africa? Uh, uh, I don't see uh, these systems as lines of code. I see more the impact on the people uh, and more on the whole region here in Africa uh, because as I said uh, uh, I spent almost uh, more than 30 uh, 20 years working uh, in various uh, companies, various countries uh, almost uh, 5 to 6 different countries all over the world and major issues here in Africa are organizational issues uh, 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 managerial issues the money is there but we usually we don't know how to manage it or we don't have the tool to manage it. And an ERP like uh, Triton, which assists in uh, enforcing uh, specific uh, and streamlining uh, processes can make a major difference. Uh, uh, so my question, and I've been discussing here with uh, a few of you guys, <coughs> How to reach out, from the right hand side, how to reach out to most small and major businesses in Africa? Huh? 
So software is great. But now, how can anybody, because anybody can afford it, but how can we reach out? That's, to me, uh, this is a major issue, uh, uh, the major challenge I face, and I fo hope that I will uh, uh, convince uh, a few of you guys to get involved. You are already involved anyway. So let's just get the job done, and, uh, and uh, I will end with a word of thank you, thank you, thank you uh, to uh, the whole community. I know I knew some of you guys uh, just by name. Now I'm, uh, I meet uh, you. I mean, uh, see the faces behind the names. And thank you for all what you are, you are doing. Uh, uh, and uh, you will hear, we'll hear more of each other. Thank you very much. <laughs> Is there any questions? I'm uh, very happy to answer or share our experiences about it. Hello, I'm just interesting, uh, interested in how many, do you know how many insta instances from the CNU Health Project are installed? I, I, I have read about it in, in, in yeah. the internet and um, it seemed to me v to be very, very complex. And uh, um, how long did you need it to get into uh, this uh, yeah. I installed and mainly. I didn't install all the modules of Triton and, uh, and, and GNU Health. Uh, 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 Triton, I, I, I implemented only the financial module, and even financial module, the whole invoicing processes, process up to uh, uh, the journalizing. We exported then, I think so. Uh, with here, I spent, usually I take my, myself not more than a month. This is a challenge I take when I do a project because it should be, let's say, uh, financially uh, sound. Did you, you, did you have experience with my medical problems before? Or yeah, yeah, I, I, I've been working. I, I would not say the name of the organization. I've been, I've been working in big organizations. So I, I, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but I've de been dealing with uh, medical systems and uh, financial systems and so on. Uh, just to, just to uh, in, in uh, Gabon, we have one implementation in Cameroon, uh, we have, this is Africa at least, the part of Central Africa. In Cameroon, we managed this year to, 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 to do two implementations. And I'm going uh, in January back to Cameroon to do the next implementation. So usually I give myself a month up to two. So what I do, just feed the people into the processes. That's because these are best practices. Because if you start in Africa uh, uh, talking around these people, you'll never, it will never end will be an endless talk. So these are, to me, best practices uh, uh, that are good for the people because <laughs> major issue are processes. We like do the things on their own way and of usually it's good when there is a lack of transparency and all these things. So, uh, so here we spent, uh, usually we, we, we go with, a minim with minimal modules. Uh, I did only here lab and patient management module. And then as we go, uh, we, we do the process, project stepwise. As we go, we implement, we add other modules because you have an issue with the culture, with the change management. Uh, in early this year, I went to Bicop, a small hospital uh, operated by uh, Spanish uh, sisters, nuns, uh, nuns and sisters. Uh, I went there, I mean, big and so on. First thing, there was no inter almost no internet there, but this time I was warned. So I did set up the system before. But two or three users have n never saw a computer. It was, it was the first time for them to see a computer. So when you arrive there, what do you do? So these are the kind of things you have face you'll be facing. Because I was assuming that everybody at least know how to use a computer. So these are the kind of things you, you face. So you have to uh, deal with the people. You have to motivate them. Or uh, here in, 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 in Franceville, uh, a lady who was working will say, say, tell you, she will not use uh, insurance function uh, uh, because she, will, she said, no, no, no. She's going, she, she will retire in six months. She was trained. 
At the end of the day, we are analyzing the financial figures. They are not matching what's happening. The ladies just, uh, when people have uh, insurance, health insurance, she doesn't put it in the, in the software. So she takes your whole money. Cash management was not uh, done. Uh, cash, cash management procedures were not properly, uh, properly implemented. So you have uh, these kind of issues. So you need to be very flexible. Huh? Because on the side of the technology, it is, you know, it is uh, as I said, uh, Triton is Africa Poft. Huh? I mean, it's working there. All other systems, I will not know, uh, name any, any, any name here, any company, are collapsing there. Triton, with online, online is just robust, say. So we have, I mean, very, very, uh, very, very robust and reliable. So, uh, and there, are, there will be, there are more implementation to, to come, of course. We are, we are trying to get now into uh, Ivory Coast and, and West and West Africa uh, as well. But I'm doing both. Uh, and on Triton, on Triton I did uh, three implementations. Just uh, financial accounting. It is uh, a robust. Uh, as I said. But the most important issues are always processes. People try to u do the things their own way. Okay. Uh. Uh, do you think about teaching uh, African uh, specialists in uh, knowing Triton? Because uh, we as Europeans are very expensive if we are working there some uh, at universities or yeah, schools yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. to teach people in yeah. learning Triton. In, in fact, in fact, as I said, uh, it is a. a, a it's not only universities, it's to reach out. To me, every single small and medium business should be operated by Triton. In Africa, of course. Every single one because they, they, there is nothing. Huh? I mean, it is, it, I mean, it is difficult to, to, to experience because you are here just for you for so there's just a few lines of code, if you fix your bug here. There, I mean, I, I set it up uh, at a small uh, shop. The lady owned by a lady, she, did, she was struggling just with stock and inventory management. She had a, 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 seller there, a salesperson there who was just doing what she wanted. At the time we set it up, the lady was selling there resigned. Because she was taking the whole money. I mean, I'm just, she, I mean, a whole world opened up. It, it is really, really it, it, uh, a development challenge. And I'm working really, I mean, I continue working here to say how to reach it out, to reach out at university to people. There is na, na, nothing right now. Okay, you're here for me again. Thank you.